What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so it is finally time to go, well, to get the heck out of here, because in the last episode, we defeated uh, Lenora for our second badge right here in Unova, and take a look at that. It's all shiny. Something that I just found out in uh, in another walkthrough, that you can actually shine up your, 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 your gym badges. That's why uh, my gym badges back in Platinum were looking a little too uh, rusty and all that stuff. I took care of that. Don't worry about that, guys. So, we took care of that. Now, it is finally time to go straight into the Pinwheel Forest because Team Plasma just came out and just uh, stole uh, the Dragonite's head. And, uh, well, we are the hero. We need to, to make sure that this is uh, not going on. So, here is Berg, and he's like, this leads to the Pinwheel Forest. If they manage to scuttle off into the forest, we might have trouble. We might. Maybe just a little bit. I don't even know. Okay, so let's move on right here. As you can see, we got a nurse on standby just in case we get poisoned or just about anything. And, uh, well, there's no need to worry, but make sure to bring healing items, guys, because there will be some bug-type Pokemon in here, and you do not want to mess with these guys right here. So going into the Pinwheel Forest, Berg's like, well, you see, there are two ways out of the Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight through the path, uh, the winds of the road, uh, will wind through the woods, yada yada yada. I will take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Draven, you, you, uh, would you please take out the other way and check uh, whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere? Wow. You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path. Uh, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. Okay, well... Way to give me, yeah. Wait, wait, way to give me a freaking uh, a, a, a hard path right here. So I could have gone right here to the hard or to the easy straight and narrow path, but no. Our like life, we have to go in a windy road and all that stuff. It's never too easy at, at all. So um, let's see. Well, I got the right Pokemon for the job right here. Of course, I do need an extra Pokemon to try and defeat these uh, bug type, grass type gym leaders and or Pokemon trainers. So I here we have one, two, one, two, keep with uh, keep time with each other. One, two punch. Alrighty. We discuss what to do before a battle. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. Another Pokemon battle right here. And here we have twins Mayo and uh, May. Oh, they're basically uh, spelled May uh, the month of May in uh, in Spanish. In in, in, in Spanish is, is stuff, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken or anything. And here they come out with a sea waddle right here, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and use a takedown attack on that guy. And uh, well, they are bug type Pokemon, and oh crud, I'm at a disadvantage right here. So razor shell for this guy. Hopefully my physical attack will do something very very good. And there we go. Not super effective, but it still gets the job done right there. And there we go again. Critical hit. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and. Uh, Looking at Sigh of the Torrent grows to level 24. Always nice. Very, very nice. And here comes a Razor Leaf. Ah, uh, crud. Yeah. Well, that takes a nice, nice amount, but we're still standing right here. And, uh, well, let's go with the... Well, I could use Fury Cutter, but they are bug and grass type Pokemon right here, so that's probably not a good idea right there. So here we go. Water Gun. Almost takes it out, but here's a two punch. Bite attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the the May Twins have been defeated right here. And, uh, well, now it is time to move on right here. And I believe there's Team... Yeah, there's a Team Galactic member right here. So, Or Team Plasma member. So let's go with Drillmonger. See what he can do. I'm pretty sure he can do a lot of things. All right, what do you have to say? Okay. You stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Okay, bring it on. Let's do this. Do this for America right here. Because we're practically in America. <laughs> so here we go. Team Plasma Grunt wants the battle. And, uh, well, coming out with a Sand Dial. Now, this is a new Pokemon that we, this is like something new. Very, very new. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. He's using his Intimidate. And, uh, well, we can't really use any any kind of attacks right here, so we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. Go with Sigh of the Torrent. Deal with this whole uh, this whole uh, thing right here. Now, while I'm battling, I'm just gonna let you guys know on a little secret. Originally, I wanted to capture a Sea Waddle, 
And like I said in the last few episodes, before I do any kind of Pokemon training or uh, do any episodes of Pokemon Black, I play Pokemon Black separately on my real DS. Just to check out uh, what I could do, what Pokemon I can use and all that stuff for this specific reason. And even though Seawaddle is a is a pretty good Pokemon uh, when it comes to like when it becomes its final form and all that stuff uh, it kind of didn't really mix with my team and all that crud uh, if you guys remember I'm all about the team dynamic and all that stuff if my team if my team doesn't really have like good specific uh, uh, specific uh, what you call typings that mix and ma mix and match and you know cover each other uh, within the team then I'm gonna have a huge problem right there so yeah, Seawaddle is not really going, not really going to be on my team right here. So here we go, another Team Plasma member, not Team Galactic, Team Plasma, and this guy's just looking at me, all, all messed up and everything. So let's go right ahead and battle another Team Plasma member, and it's a she. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. Coming out with her Perloin, Perloin, Perloin. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Drillmonger, you can do this right here. Let's go with the Metal Claw. Alrighty. Metal Claw. Take this Metal Claw right here. And, uh, uh, crud. Well, it's using whatever attack on me and whatever. I don't even know. So, like I was saying, guys, Team Dynamics is always a big, big thing for me. It's a huge thing. Uh, it depends. It, it usually. It usually makes. Uh, well, it, what was it? Like, it decides the outcome of how I'm gonna do this whole walkthrough and all that stuff. And like I said, early on in this whole walkthrough too, uh, I will be switching out Pokemon here and there, just like in my original versions. I'm not just gonna be relegated to just six Pokemon right here. I will be using multiples. And as you can see, there is a, okay, This the surface is covered in moss, touching it feels good somehow. Hmm, okay, that's cool. Uh, if you have an Eevee, that's where you can evolve it eventually, you know, when you have an Eevee and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. And uh, Drillmonger, you've done your stuff. Let's go with Ace, my good old boy Ace. And uh, yeah, if you guys don't want to get bothered by any of the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon right here, make sure to buy some repels. That's exactly what I did right here. Okay. Bring it on! Let's go. Here we have a Pokemon Ranger Forest. Wow, ironically. And he or she? Yeah, he is going to be coming out with his Herdier, so let's go with Ace. Mm hmm. Ace, you got something a little bit better than this Herdier. You got yourself a Rock Smash. Oh, uh, yes. Look at that. Takes him out. And, uh, well, there's more takedown attacks right here. And, uh, yeah, that was a little more powerful than usual. So let's go with takedown attack. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That's how you do it. We lose a few a few points here and there, but you know what? He grows to level 23. It's always funny. Okay, alrighty. So, Forrest, you have been defeated. Now, after you defeat a Pokemon Ranger, they will always give you something right here. Uh, yeah, they will give you... Some kind of berry. This guy, of course, will give us a Chesto berry, which is always nice. Very, very nice. And, uh, well, apparently he's on patrol. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, well, i got to heal my Pokemon right here. Stocked up on a little bit of, uh, of super potions. Not that rich just yet, guys. And, uh, all right, time to get the heck out of here. There's an item right here that we can get. And that replenishes our super potions just a little bit more. And, uh, let's see, there's, is there any items right here? No. Okay, so the repels has worn off, so let's go right ahead and use another repel here. Luckily, we bought eight of them, so that should be enough to get us out of here. And, uh, well, let's see. Homeboy is looking for a fight right here. I'm going to switch him out. I'm going to switch uh, Ace right here, actually. Hold on, let me do it. Come on! There we go. With Sigh of the Torrent. Okay, alrighty, let's do this. Okay, so what do you got? Walk over to me. My Pokemon's strong points. You'll see them in in your in you fight. If you fight. Or if you fight. Again, do not judge Draven for not being able to read correctly. It's hilarious. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon trainer, and he will be coming out with the Venipede. Now, Venipede is a Pokemon that I really, really wanted to capture. It's both poison and bug type. It evolves into a really mean looking poison type Pokemon. Probably one of my favorite bug type Pokemon. It's Venipede. Because it gets all defensive and then it becomes just a tank for a fucking attack. But kinda feel like a kinda feel like as you can see, it, it gets all weak like that. So uh 
I'm still, I'm still thinking about it, guys. I'm really still thinking about either getting a Venipede or not. I don't even know. We'll check it. We'll see after this episode. I don't even know. I'm just talking out of my butt right now. And here we go. Let's get this. Oh, wow. He's using Bide. Oh, crud. Here we go. Razor Shell. Let's get it. And that takes out Timber. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, look at that. Okay. So that is it for that guy. And, uh... Now we gotta move on right here. Now be careful, there are people hi hiding in these little mossy areas right here. Of course, we'll see somebody right there pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get this antidote. And uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon Ace. Let's get this. Okay. Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. That is the strength of Rangers. I thought it was the Morphing Grid. I really thought it was the Morphing Grid because you know Power Rangers and all that stuff. But I guess this lady hasn't. Yeah, she hasn't heard anything at all. So here we go again. Another battle against another Elemental Monkey. We got Pantsage going up against Ace of. I would like to say Hard Rock, but I would have called it Kento or something. I don't even know. And uh, oh crud! So there's a Leech Seed. Now we better. Ah, oh, crud, so I already attacked. Jeebus H. Christ. Okay, here we go. That's right. Look at that. Take down attack. You don't do nothing. Anything. And there we go. Audra has been defeated. And like always, we get ourselves a, uh, we get ourselves a, a, a potion, or not a potion, but a berry. Another chest of berry. A fine collection to the, uh, don't fall asleep Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, I thought I was going to get attacked right here, but no, there's nothing. And then, uh, let's see, there's somebody waiting for us right there, and of course, somebody surprises us! Come on, let's take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Alright, next, let's our Pokemon fight. Okay. Let's get this. Alrighty, okay, so we got another Pokemon Ranger, her name is Irene, she thinks she's bad, but really, she's just got an elemental monkey. It ain't too bad. That's right. Anywho, guys, I'm gonna keep on saying this. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, my avatar on uh, on my channel, on some of the designs, or especially on my Facebook or Instagram and all that stuff, I finally have a personalized version uh, trainer of myself. Super happy, and it all goes to an astray a train or what was it? Hold on, damn it! <laughs> Sorry about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, he's gonna get mad at me for this one. <laughs> okay, so let me go back to the gym leader Draven uh, Facebook right here, or. An artist astray, my bad, my bad, buddy, my bad. So, an artist astray, I found him on. Uh, oh, look at that, we get a Pekka Berry, Petcha Pekka. I don't even know. I found him on Instagram, and if you guys don't remember, uh, I did request for somebody to actually help me make a personalized uh, Pokemon trainer. Uh, didn't find me any luck on Divine Art or anything like that. There was a lot of people that you know were just like trying to, ch to charge me an arm and a leg, but this homeboy right here. An artist astray, he, uh, yeah, he, he, he gave me a fair price, and his designs are pretty awesome. Not only does he do personalized, uh, personalized Pokemon trainers, but he also does uh, his own versions of Pokemon, Fake Mon, if uh, that's what they call it right there. And uh, I, I'd recommend every single one of you guys to go check it out right there on Instagram. So the, his link will be on the bottom description right here of my, uh, my video. And uh, if you guys are looking to get your own personalized Pokemon trainer, go to An Artist Astray. This guy knows how to do his stuff. He gets his stuff done on time. And uh, again, I'm really, really happy. I'm going to continue going to him just because we got stuff to do. We got regions to, uh, to visit. I got personalized versions that I want to do and all that stuff. And he's helped me a lot. So thank you again, An Artist Astray, for the, all the help that, you, that you've given me right here. So, going back into the battle, this guy's going with another detect attack. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay. Metal Claw. Ah, oh, crud. So, homeboy right here might hurt me twice as bad if I don't defeat him real quickly. So, let's go again. Metal Claw. Hopefully, it beats him. I don't even know. Ah, oh, crud. There we go. Padrat has been defeated. There we go, and finally, Drillmonger grows to level 20. Welcome to the level 20 club, and, uh, well, let us move on right here. 
I see. Okay, so yep, I'm here to buy time. And if you don't step lively, we're going to get away. Okay. So my repel has worn off, and uh, man, I really love the the maze that they created right here in uh, in Pokemon Black and White. It, you know, a few a, a few things that I, I love about Pokemon Black and White. So let's see. I believe the first uh, the first few games that they started in in the DS was Pokemon Leaf Green or Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It was you know it was a uh, it was cool and all that stuff. It wasn't like as 3D as like this is. And uh, when Pokemon Black and White came out. You started seeing a little bit more on the graphic side, like the the houses were a little more I don't even know. Uh, pointed up instead of down. I don't even know. It, it just feels more lively and all that stuff. If anybody can uh, can help me with that, how to describe it, then that'd be great because of course Draven doesn't know how to describe shit. And uh, here we have another Pokemon Ranger wanting to battle us and all that stuff too. And uh, another cool thing about Pokemon Black and White is that now the sprites move along. They're, they're moving, they, they're more lively and all that stuff. And then between, you know, the last battle and all that stuff, you see, uh, you know, people just, uh, oh damn. Yeah, be, uh, between that and the last Pokemon and all that stuff, they see that, you know, you, they'll give you a little speech saying that I'm not giving up. Or the Pokemon uh, song s changes. Right after you're about to beat them and all that stuff, that that just that's what makes it more uh, more dramatic right there. And uh, would you look at that, Drillmonger is just destroying everybody. Alrighty, okay, so give me my berry, please. Thank you, thank you very much. So there's a Pekka, 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 Pekka. I don't even know berry, something a berry. I don't even know. Okay, so before we go anywhere, there is a special little item here that we need to get. And uh, let's see, I want. Okay, so there's two items right here. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get the one on the far back scene, but right here, we get ourselves another TM, and it is TM86 Grass Knot. It all depends on how much your Pokemon or your opponent weighs. That will be the uh, that will be the uh, the amount of damage they will take. And uh, let's see, Grass Knot. So the user snares the target with grass and trips it. The heavier the target, the greater the damage. Okay, so Grass Knot. Who can learn it? Of course, Sigh of the Torrent can learn it. So I'm going to teach it right here. I'm going to take away one more move. I'm going to take away Water Gun. That way, you know, we're more balanced out. There we go. Eventually, you know, we'll, 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 we'll teach different uh, moves here and there. And then, uh, let's see. There's a puddle right there. And I believe... Uh, crud. Yeah, we have to... Yeah, we have to... Uh, yeah, use a repel right here. Okay, so... Uh, eventually we can come around this area and get that little item in as you can see there is a there's a, some grass rustling right there uh, we tried to attempt it one time in a few episodes ago but I'm gonna do it right here just to show you guys every single time of the grass is rustling it's usually Audino so let's go right ahead and take a look at this the, the, the song changes and it's all pretty cool and uh, oh crud it's an elemental monkey oh damn so, <laughs> this is something new for me because it was always an Audino. For me, it was always Audino, so that's kind of a... Yeah. Oh, DM. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now... I'm going to try and capture this guy. I'm, I'm going to try and complete a... Uh, I'm going to try and complete an elemental monkey kind of a challenge right here. Off screen, I'll try and get another one. And crud, 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 crud. Never mind. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> We defeated this guy, but usually it's an Audino. Oh god, I haven't played Pokemon Black and White in quite some time, guys. So you guys gotta excuse me. Now, let's see. Okay, so we got another Pokemon trainer right here. Let's go ahead and switch it out, and let's go with Sign of the Torrent. Let's go ahead and destroy people with this guy. This is probably the last guy right here, so what does he have to say? A pursuer. Ooh, ah, ha, ha. A kid like you beat some of us? That can't be helped, but I'll take you down. I'll take you on now. Alrighty. Bring it on, you P-U-T-O. That's right. Let's get this. Patrat, coming out. All bandity and everything. So here we go. Sigh of the Torrent. Going to destroy you right here. Here we go. And excuse me just a bit. Okay, so that was a <laughs> that was a call from uh, one of my 
one of my friends right there. So excuse me for all of that right there. So going back into this battle right here, I'm going to go straight for the uh, Razor Shell because we all know Bat Rat is not that heavy right here. And uh, what did he just do? He, oh, crud. He just protected himself. I freaking hate these Bat Rats and their protects and the techs and everything. Assholes. Yeah, I got people calling me on the hour, every hour, all that stuff. So annoying. So he's going to be coming out with another Pat Rat. So I'm going to continue right here with Sigh of the Torrent. And uh, for future references, let's see how much this Grass Knot will do. Oh, crap. So we're going to have to defeat this guy quickly. And here's that Grass Knot. And, oh, it took, it, it, it took a lot of damage. So let's go right ahead and uh, d do this again. The Grass Knot for the win. Eat it. Eat it, Pat Rat. Or, yeah, eat it, Pat Rat. And uh, he's going to be coming out with a sand dial, so we're going to stick by with a uh, sigh of the tort right here. Yes, sir. He's going to be sweeping everybody. Of course, he's going to be using Intimidate. Now, I prefer the sand dial with the Moxie, the Moxie ability, because it will power up every single time. Every freaking time. Well, after you defeat uh, an opponent. That's the best part about that. And, uh, well, there you go. As you can see, Plasma, if it keeps up, we won't say Pokemon! You didn't save any of the Pokemon right here. Okay, so what does he have to say? Fine, take your stupid skull. And there we go. We got ourselves a Dragon Skull right here. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's going to be telling us, So, the dream, uh, the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Holy crud. Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn. Who the hell is this guy? Kind of looks like the Pope a little. Gorm. That's, his, that's what his name is. Gorm. How are you holding up? fellow subject of our king Gorm of the seven sages I'm mortified that the that the score the skull which we went to so or we, we, which we went so much trouble to, uh, to obtain was stolen from us so easily it's not important we can afford to abandon the dragon skull according to the uh, results of our research this is not the legendary Pokemon for which team plasma is looking it is completely unrelated oh damn but we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. Away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Oh crud! Oh crud! Okay, so here we go. And here we have Berg, and he's like, "Oh sweet, the bug Pokemon. We're getting all worked up. So here I come. And what do you guys spy with my little eye? This important-looking guy. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Oh crud! Here's Lenora. Oh, she's mad." Draven, Berg, the others didn't say it, didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? Gorm's like, I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, another of the seven sages, will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you... The bug, uh, Pokemon, uh, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and a normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Oh damn! This time we will, we will, we shall retreat quietly to secure the liberation of Pokemon. We will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to to that time as uh, much as I. Oh, damn. Oh, crud. Very ominous. Very speechy punch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase him? Hmm. We got back, oh, we got back the stolen skull, and if uh, we cornered them, there's uh, no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back to Lenora. Okay, well. Well, now, well. I'll be waiting for you uh, for your challenge at the Castelia City Gym, uh, right up north, right there, yeah. Yes, indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Okay. He's a speechy bunch, too. And what do you have to say, young lady? Draven. You're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? And yes, I'm going to give it back to you because uh, apparently it's not what we needed and all that stuff. Draven, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please to use it carefully. And we get ourselves a Moonstone. 
And, uh, well, I don't think we're going to be using any Pokemon that no evolve with the Moonstone. This is a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now, I must take the, the Dragon School back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, so that is pretty much it right there for the Team Plasma chase right here. And, uh, well, now it is time to get the heck out of here. Um, oh yeah, look at this. It's a cool item right there. A Miracle Seed, which can we, we can use for Grass-type Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we still got more Pokemon trainers to go. Crud. Alrighty, fuck it. Let's see. Um, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Alright. Actually, he doesn't want to battle us right now. Okay, so these trees cut for, uh, on the forest read are sent uh, Driftvale. Okay, the key, the trees cut on this forest road are sent from Driftvale Forest, our city, to the world. Okay, I didn't even understand that. And uh, the repel has worn off. Now, right here, you won't be able to get uh, any further right here. But if you talk to this guy, hmm, I can feel it. The presence of a fierce Pokemon. It's right around here somewhere very ominous as well so okay so that is pretty much it for this one I'm not going to battle anybody just yet off screen I will be battling the people down uh, down the middle right here but we need to get to the next place right here which look at that holy crud that is amazing this is another part of uh, Pokemon black and white that I really love it's uh, the scenery everything they just make it so lively and everything especially for the DS is a uh, you know motor or whatever it has right here so we're going to go in here and uh, let's see, what does this guy have to say to us? Uh, battles are striking. Okay, yeah, in battles, striking first is essential. So here, he will give us a quick claw. So that's a very, very important item for any kind of like uh, slow Pokemon that we may have. We may have one slow Pokemon. And then what do you have to say? There are people who are obsessed with uh, certain items. They'll even buy your items for a lot of money. You might even uh, be able to sell your items you can't use to, to, to these people. So maybe you should uh, hang on to them. Okay. She must be talking about the roots and all that stuff. And then here we go. Hello. If you cross the Sky Arrow Bridge from here, you'll reach Castelia City. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go to Castelia City. Now, this is the biggest part of, or the biggest selling point of Pokemon Black and White. And it's this right here. Look at that. The bridge. It's going to be taking you to the no the New York City-like uh, city, Castelia City. And uh, what do you have to say? Uh, bridge curves like uh, here. I've never seen anything like it. That's pretty cool. And we're above a highway. Now, this is a, uh, what was it? It's kind of a, a replica of the Manhattan Bridge. Correct me if I'm wrong. For those from New York, look at that. Oh, geez, look at that. The George Washington Bridge. That's from Spider-Man, I'm sorry. And uh, look at that. Look, Oh, shit, look at that. It's a boat. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, damn. Really, really digging the whole graphics right here, guys. And then uh, talk to this guy. Hmm, I'm researching for an exact center point of the Skyro Bridge. Okay, cool. Cool for you. And uh, look at that. The Vantage Bridge has changed. I wonder if we can battle anybody right here. I don't know, but as you can see, we are headed towards a new destination right here, and that is we're going to Castelia City. It's a huge city. It might take us maybe two or three episodes to get through this whole area. Wow, that's the that's that's the Castelia City skyline. It is. Alrighty, so we're going to the big city right here, guys. This is pretty awesome. This is dope. Pretty cool. This is friggin' awesome, guys. So let's just go ahead and uh, move on along, and uh, here we are into the new route and uh, hello if you cross okay never mind pinwheel forest to nat green city talk to this lady i walked so far my legs are so sore I mean, you don't look oh wait man, you don't have to look whatever okay so let's go right here and here we are guys finally in castelia city the uh center point of all of unova right here I would have to I would have to assume this is like the the base city for all of you Nova right here. So, we're going to stop right here guys. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be taking a tour of uh of Castelia City, yeah. Everything and its wonders. Hell, there might be even one or two Pokémon that we might catch. I don't know. What kind of foreshadowing right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.